Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we'll discuss the poem, The Ballad of East and West, written by Rudyard Kipling, line by line. In the last video, we have seen introduction to the poem, summary of the poem, and we have also recited the poem. This video is about understanding the poem in detail. So without wasting much time, let us start. You must remember that the poem was written in 1889 when British ruled most of the eastern countries. The poem is about the British army personnel and the Afghan raider called Kamal. So let us start reading the poem and understanding it line by line. O oh, east is east and west is west and never the twain shall meet till earth and sky stand presently at God's great judgment seat. See, the poem is written in couplets, so we'll try to read it out in couplets and understand the me meaning of the poem in couplets itself. Couplet is a pair of lines rhyming together. So let us start. O oh, east is east and west is west and never the twain shall meet. That means east is east and west is west. These two are different places and never the twain shall meet. And never, it is not possible ever that the twain, twain means two, both, east and west, twain shall meet. These two cannot ever meet. Till earth and sky stand presently at God's great judgment seat. How long? Till earth and sky stand presently at God's great judgment seat. That means till the judgment day. Judgment day is the day after the doom when God will be sitting on the seat of judgment and deciding the fate of the people. So that is God's great judgment seat. But there is neither east nor west, border nor breed nor birth. When two strong men stand face to face, though they come from the ends of the earth. But there is no east nor west. Remember, there is neither east nor west. There is no border, there is no breed, there is no birth. When, when two strong men stand face to face, face to face, in front of each other, though they come from the ends of the earth, though they come from two distant parts of the world, the ends of the earth, distant parts of the world. That is the beginning of the poem. This is the refrain of the poem. It is also repeated at the end of the poem. The real poem, the story of the poem begins here. Kamal is out with 20 men to raise the border side. And he has lifted the colonel's mare, that is colonel's pride. Kamal is the Afghan raider. He is out with 20 men. Why is he there? To raise the border side. To raise the border side. He is a rebel and he is there. He is a robber. He loots British and other people. So Kamal is out with 20 men. He has 20 men with him. And he is there to raise the border side. And he has lifted what has he done? He has lifted. Lifted means taken away. He has taken away the colonel's mare. Mare is female horse. He has lifted colonel's mare. That is colonel's pride. He has taken away colonel's female horse. That was colonel's pride. Co colonel was proud of that mare. And Kamal has taken away the same mare. He has lifted her out of the stable door between dawn and the day and turned the Kalkins upon her feet and ridden her far away. He has lifted her. Her means this mare. He has taken this mare out of the stable door. Stable is the place where horses are kept. When, when he has lifted it? Between the dawn and the day. Between the time of dawn and the day. And turn the Kalkins. Kalkins are horseshoes. Reversing horseshoes to confuse the persuader was a common practice then. And turn the Kalkins upon her feet and ridden her far away. He rode with the mare to a distant place, ridden her far away. Then up and spoke the colonel's son that led a troop of guides. Is there never a man of all my men can say whether Kamal hides? Then up and spoke. Then got up and spoke. Who? Colonel's son. Colonel's son got up and spoke. Who was Colonel's son? What was he doing there? That led the troop of guides. Guides was a group of the people, a group of army, British army there, which included Indian men in it. And the Colonel's son said, Isn't there a man in all these troop of guides who can tell me where Kamal hides? Where is Kamal hiding? Whereabouts of the Kamal? Then up and spoke Muhammad Khan, the son of Rasul Dar. If ye know the track of the morning mist, ye know where is pickets are. Then spoke Muhammad Khan. Muhammad Khan got up and spoke. 
who is mohammad khan mohammad khan is the son of rasaldar what is rasaldar an indian cavalry officer that is rasaldar if ye know the track of the morning mist if you can understand where the morning mist is if ye know the track of the morning mist ye know where is pickets are you can understand where is troops are pickets are small parties of the troops ahead of the main body who are sent to report the sighting of the enemy so you can understand where his pickets are at dusk he harries the abzai at dawn he is into bonaire but he must go by fort buklof to his own place to fare who is telling this mohammed khan is telling at dusk at dusk is where there is twilight at the twilight he goes to abzai abzai is a town in pakistan right now at dawn he is into bonaire at the turn of time uh, dawn where he will be he will be into bonaire but remember he must go by fort buklof his route is to go by fort buklof to his own place to fare fare is to sell the mare or it can also mean for other dealings that he has to do there so if a gallop to fort buklof as fast as a bird can fly so mohammed khan is telling if a gallop gallop is ride a is you if you ride to fort buklof as fast as a bird can fly as fast as the bird flies so if a gallop to fort buklof as fast as a bird can fly by the favor of god by the wish of god by the favor of god ye may cut him off cut him off send him stop him in the way ye may cut him off here before ye may cut him off before he win to the tongue of jagai you can cut him off before he goes to the tongue of jagai tongue of jagai is another place so before reaching tongue of jagai you can stop him but if he pass the tongue of jagai right swiftly turn ye then for the length and the breadth of that grisly plain is shown with kamal's men what is he telling mohammed khan is telling mohammed khan is telling colonel sun that if he goes beyond tongue of jagai if that place is crossed by him then you turn immediately right swiftly immediately turn back why for because the length and breadth of that grisly plain grisly's horrifying plain is shown with kamal's men because there are kamal's men everywhere in those places so you turn back from the tongue of jagai there is a rock to the left and rock to the right and low lean thorn between and ye may hear a breech bolt sneak where never a man is seen now at that place what is there in that plain there is a rock to the left and there is the rock to the right and low lean thorn between low lean thorns are there in between and ye may hear ye may hear you can hear a breech bolt sneak breech bolt is the rifle's characteristic sound sneak is sound ye may hear breech bolt sneak you can hear the sound of the rifle where never a man is seen you can't see the man but you see you hear the sounds of the rifle the colonel son has taken a horse and raw rough done was he with the mouth of a bell and the heart of hell and the head of gallows tree the colonel son has taken a horse and raw rough done was he raw rough done done is the horse brownish colored horse colonel son has taken a raw rough and brownish colored horse with the mouth of the bell mouth of the bell it was the hard mouth the horse was with the hard mouth and its heart was of the hell and head of the gallows tree gallows is gallows is a place where criminals are criminals are hanged or killed or punished so in here it means ugly looking it has a, a, an ugly looking head and he has taken that horse the colonel's son to the fort has won they bid him stay to eat who rides at the tail of border thief he sits not long at his meat the colonel's son to the fort has won colonel son went to the fort they bid him stay to eat they means people at the fort asked him to wait and eat but the person who rides at the tail of a border thief that means who is following the border thief who is border thief here kamal he sits no long at his meat such person does not sit to eat for a long time that was the case he is up and away from fort buklo as fast as he can fly till he was aware of his father's mare in the gut of tongue of jagai he is up he got up and started from the fort buklo as fast as he can fly 
till he was aware of his father's mare till he knew that his father's mare was there where in the gut of the tongue of jagai gut is stomach or intestine in the place there in the tongue of jagai till he was aware of his father's mare with kamal upon her back when he saw that his father's mare is there and kamal is upon her back and when he could spy the white of her eye when it could, he could spy spy means see when it could see the white of her eye white of her eyes don't fire until you don't see the whites this was uh, a saying there so kamal might have said that don't fire until you see the white man and when he could spy the white of her eye he made the pistol crack and what did he do he made the pistol crack he made a sound out of the pistol he he has fired once he had fired twice but the whistling ball went wide ye shoot like a soldier kamal said show now if you can ride he has fired once he has fired twice from his pistol but the whistling ball whistling ball is a missile ball or the bullet of the pistol went wide it went white it didn't shoot kamal ye shoot like a soldier you shoot like a soldier kamal said you shoot like a soldier show now if you can ride now show me if you can ride a horse now take a challenge of riding with me it's up and over the tongue of jagai as blown dust devils go the dun he fled like a stag of 10 but the mare like a barren doe it's up and over the tongue of jagai now the place tongue of jagai has gone away as blown dust devils go how has it gone it go it has gone as the blown dust devils like small whirlwinds blown dust devils means whirlwinds go the dun he fled like the stag of 10 Bl- dun dun is the horse horse fled like fled ran like a stag of 10 stag of 10 means a deer with 10 horns so the dun he fled like the stag of 10 but the mare like a barren doe and mare mare is the horse on which kamal was riding riding but the mare like a barren doe barren doe is a female deer okay the dun he leaned against the bit and slugged his head above what did he do the dun he leaned against he put his more weight on the dun and slugged his head above and kept his head up and he kept his head up and slugged his head above hit hard slug is to hit hard his head above he tried to keep his head tight but the red mare played with the snaffle bars as a maiden plays with the glove snaffle bars snaffle bars are the parts or bits used in the mouth of a horse to control it so the red mare played with the snaffle bars as a maiden plays with glove how as a maiden maiden is an young girl plays with the glove there was rock to the left and rock to the right and low lean thorn between and thrice he heard a bridge bolt snick though never a man was seen there was a rock to the left and rock to the right and low lean thorn between and thrice he heard a bridge bolt snick bridge bolt the sound of the rifle he heard the sound of the rifle for three times though never a man was seen though there was not a man seen they have ridden the low moon out of the sky their hoofs drum up the dawn the dun he went like a wounded bull but the mare like a new roused fawn they have ridden low moon out of the sky they were riding and riding their hoofs hoofs horny part of the leg their hoofs drum up the dawn drum up drum up means to obtain support by hard work that means their hoofs drum up the dawn their hoofs obtain the support of the dawn by hard work they continuously rode the dun went like a wounded bull but the mare like a new roused fawn the dun horse male horse it went like a wounded bull like a wounded bull but the mare mare female horse but mare like a new roused fawn fawn means young deer new roused means excited so mare went like an excited deer while dun went like the wounded bull the dun he fell at a water course in a woful he fell he and kamal has turned the red mare back and pulled the rider free the dun fell in a water course water course is place where there is water in a woful heap he fell in a woful mournful heap fell he he means the dun and kamal has turned the red mare back kamal was riding in front so he turned he turned his red mare back and pulled the rider free rider means here colonel's son pulled the colonel's son free 
He has knocked the pistol out of his hands. Small room was there to strive. It was only by favor of mine, quoth he, you rode so long alive. He knocked the pistol out of the hand of the colonel's son, and he, there was small room to strive. Strive is to try or do something. There was no chance for the colonel's sons to do anything. Strive, it was only by my favor. It was only by favor of mine. It was my favor only, quoth he. Quoth means said he. He said, it was only by my fare ye rode so long alive. You rode on your horse so long and you are still living because of me only. There was not a rock for twenty mile. There was not a clump of tree. But covered a man of my own men with his rifle cocked on his knee. There was not a rock for twenty mile. There was not even a single rock or there was not even a single clump of tree. Clump is small group of trees. So there was not even a single rock or there was not even a small clump of tree that was not covered but covered a man of my own men that covered my man of my own men with his rifle cocked on his knee. There was no place where there was no man of mine who was ready with his rifle on his knee. Cocked, cocked means ready to fire, who was not ready to fire at any place. That means at every place my men were ready to fire on my signal. If I had raised my brittle hand as I have held it low, you might have seen that I was holding the brittle, uh, brittle hand low. If I had raised it, if I had raised my brittle hand, brittle headgear used to control the horse. That is called brittle. If I raised my hand, brittle hand as I have held it low, the little jackals that flee so fast were feasting all in a row. The little jackals, jackals are the small wild dogs. These kinds of animals which are running so fast, fast, what they would have done? They were feasting in a row. They would have been eating your flesh in a row. Feasting, eating. They must have been eating your flesh in a row. If I had bowed my head on my breast as I have held it high. If I had bowed my head on my breast because I was always trying to help hold it high. I held it high always. If I had bowed it on my chest or breast, the kite that whistles above us now were gorged till she could not fly. Probably, if I did so, the kite, kite is a bird, chill, the kite that whistles above us now were gogged, gogged, must have eaten greedily till she could not fly, she must have eaten your flesh a lot. Lightly answered the colonel's son, now it is the turn of colonel's sons to speak. Lightly answered the colonel's son, do good to bird and beast, but count who come for the broken meats before thou makest a feast. What does he say? Do good to bird and beast. Let the jackal eat, let the chill eat, or this kite eat my flesh. But remember, do good, do good to them. Do good to bird and beast. But count, count, remember, who comes, keep in your mind, who comes for the broken meat. Broken meat, fragments of the food that remain after meal. So who comes to collect that fragments of the meat before thou makest a feast? Before you try to make a feast, try to remember, try to understand that who is coming to take these fragments of the food remaining after the meal. But count who come for the broken meats before thou makest a feast. If there should follow a thousand sores to carry my bones away, be like the price of jackal's meal were not more than a thief could pay. If there should follow a thousand swords to carry my bones away, if a thousand swords come to take my bones away, be like, be like, probably in all possibility, the price of a jackal's meal were more than a thief could pay. Remember, if you do so, the price of a jackal's meal, what you are feeding the jackal, probably would be more than what is possible for a thief, than a thief could pay, because you are a thief. They will feed their horse on the standing crop, their men on the garnered grain. The thatch of buyers will serve their fires when the all cattle are slain. They'll feed, they'll miss the people who come, thousand people who come here to take my bones away. What will they do? They will feed their horse on the standing crop. They'll feed, they'll feed their horse on the standing crop that has been there. 
their men on the garnered grain. Their men will feed themselves on the collected grains here. The thatch of buyers, thatch cover, cover of buyers, buyers is cow shed. The thatch of buyers, cover of cow sheds will serve their fires. That means roof made for the cows will be used as their fire for those people because they'll slay all your cattle. But if thou thinkest the price be fair, thy brethren wait to sup. The hound is keen to the jackal's pound, howl dog and call them up. And if you think, but if thou thinkest, if you think the price be fair, this is the fair price, then thy brethren wait to sup. Thy brethren means jackals and birds. They are waiting to eat. Sup is to take in sips to eat. The hound is keen to jackal. Then I am telling you, the hunter dog is keen to jackal. Spawn, howl dog and call them up. Make sounds and call those birds here to eat me. And if thou thinkest the price be high, in steer and gear and stack, give me my father's mare again and I'll fight my own way back. And if you think that price is so high, then control yourself. In steer, control, gear, adjust and stack arrange in a row let them stop and what you do give me my father's mare back give me my father's horse back and i'll go back to my own place kamal has gripped him by his hand and set him upon his feet no talk shall be of dogs said he when wolf and gray wolf meet and kamal hold him and picked him up and made him stand on his feet and said no talk shall be of dogs let us not talk of dogs when wolf and grove gray wolf meet you are a wolf and i am a gray wolf and when two meet they do not talk of the dogs may i eat dirt if thou hast hurt of me in deed or breath may i eat dirt possibly if i hurt you in any manner in deed or breath in any manner i will be eating dirt it is as good as eating dirt for me what dam of lances dam of lances warriors what dam of lances brought thee forth what dam of lances what warriors forced you to come here brought thee forth to jest at the dawn with death what warriors are there behind you that have made you come here in the morning just is play to play at the dawn with death to play with the death how many people are there behind you Lightly answered the colonel's son, I hold the blood of my clan. Take up the mare for my father's gift. By God, she has carried a man. Lightly answered the colonel's son, I hold by the blood of my cl clan. He says, I'm telling it by the blood of my clan. Take up the mare for my father's gift. You can keep this mare for you. By God, she has carried a man because you are a, you are a worthy man. You are a strong man. The red mare ran to the colonel's son and nuzzled against his breast. The red mare ran to Colonel son and nuzzled, nuzzled, gently rubbed against his breast. We be two strong men, said Kamal then, but she loveth the youngest best. And Kamal said, we are two strong men, but she loves the younger one. She loveth the youngest best. So she shall go with a lifter's dower, my turquoise studded rain. So she'll go with lifter's dower, lifter, one who brought her here, that is, from my dower, dower is dowry, with my dowry she will go. What is my dowry? My turquoise studded rain. Turquoise studded means opaque blue green stone, studded, decorated with opaque blue green, green stone. The rain made up of these stones, she will go with this. My broidered saddle and saddle cloth and silver stirrup twin and everything he has used for the mare. This mare will go with all these things. Stirrups means pair of devices on the sides to keep the legs. The colonel's son a pistol drew and held it muzzle end. Now colonel son takes out the pistol and held it from the open end where it fires that end. Ye have taken the one from a foe, said he. Ye will take the mate from a friend. You have taken one, that means you have taken the mare from an enemy. Now you will take this pistol from the friend. A gift for a gift, said Kamal straight, a limb for the risk of a limb. Thy father has sent his son to me, I'll send my son to him. And Kamal said, gift for the gift. Your father has sent his son to me, so I'll send my son to him. With that he whistled his only son that dropped from the mountain crest. With that he signaled his son and the son came down from the mountain crest. He trod the ling like a buck in spring. He walked like a fish, like a male deer in spring and he looked like a lance in the rest. He was looking like the lance in the rest. Now there is thy master, Kamal said. Now Kamal said, this is your master who leads a troop of guides.
and this man leads the troop of guides and thou must ride at his left side as shield on the shoulder rides and what you have to do you have to ride by his side as shield shield rides on the shoulder of a warrior till death or i cut loose the tie at camp and board and bed thy life is his thy fate is to guard him with thy head and he tells that till death or i cut loose he is your master now your life is his life and your fate is to guard him with your life so thou must eat the white queen's meat and all her foes are thine i mean all the enemies of queen victoria white queen is queen victoria all the enemies of wine queen victoria are your enemies and thou must harry thy father's hold for the peace of the borderline and you must attack your father's hold you must attack me also and thou must make a trooper tough and hack thy way to power and you should become a great soldier tough trooper and hack gain access to the power be like perhaps they'll raise thee to rasaldar probably they'll make you rasaldar when i'm hanged in peshawar probably they will be rasaldar they'll make you rasaldar when they punish me in peshawar they have looked each other between the eyes and they found no fault they looked at one another when there was no mistake in it they have taken the oath of brother in blood on live and bread and salt and then then they took the oath that we are blood they mixed the blood uh, in each other's blood that is a old ceremony they have taken the oath of brother in blood on fire and fresh cut sod this is again a say part of the ceremony on the hilt and the haft of khyber knife and the wondrous names of god i mean they have taken oath on all these things in the name of god also the colonel's son he rides the mare and kamal's boy the dun now they are on the way their way back the colonel's son rides the mare and kamal's son on the dun and two have come back to fort buklov where they went forth but one and there only one went forth and when they drew the quarter guard full 20 swords flew clear when they reached quarter guard it's a place main security point of indian army when they reached quarter guard full 20 swords flew clear there was there was not a man but carried his feud with the blood of mountaineer there was not even a single soldier who was not enemy to this person mountaineer is kamal ha done ha done said the colonel and colonel said said stop put up the steel at your sides keep your swords behind keep to the side last night he had struck a border thief last night the person you attacked was the border thief tonight it is the man of guides now he is the man of guides he is our man now so you don't need to strike him and the poem ends with the same refrain that we've seen in the beginning o oh, east is east and west is west and never the two shall meet till earth and sky stand presently at god's great judgment seat but there is neither east nor west nor border nor breed nor birth when two strong men stand face to face though they come from the ends of the earth that is the end of this poem i hope you have understood it thoroughly and clearly if you did not understand anything please write your problems in the comment box i'll try to answer them and don't forget to like subscribe and share this video with your friends thank you very much for watching